The morning after washing the rig, I started taking things apart and was visited by a local charter captain and fellow van lifer who wanted to peek inside. It was this morning that I learned that being well built makes for very slow and painful disassembly since it was built to never come apart. I also learned to expect lots of curious visitors as we worked on it in the parking lot. Wait, so that lady just walked by and said, is there anyone in the ambulance in case we needed them? And I responded, we're here, just not even thinking. Yeah, we're here. I was joking. I hope she was joking. It's time to get these stickers off just in case. During the business hours of the marina, I figured we would just focus on the interior to minimize the commotion, so I was waiting for the evening when we had this place all to ourselves to start stripping the stickers, and as you can imagine, we are very eager to get this done. Our Amazon package with the 3M eraser wheel finally arrived, so now I'm just plucking away inside until closing time while waiting for my partner in crime. It's there, but I mean, at least uh, maybe we'll just start on the paramedics. We can make it to ambience and start on all the other like markings and then come back for ambience or whatever. Once she arrives, we spring into action to de amplify the outside of this pig as quickly as possible, except there's just nothing quick about this process. Good morning, we are back at it again. Um, we were cut a little short because we had a storm rolling late last night. But this is how far we've made it. We have completely debadged the back. Most of this was done with the heat gun, so it left behind the residue that we started going back and cleaning and some of it was also done with the 3M eraser wheel that took off the adhesive residue and the sticker at the same time but we didn't get that started until late but that's primarily what I'm going to be using today so hopefully we can rock and roll much quicker We got an early start the next morning. While Tiff is working to remove the adhesive from the rear, I'm working on the passenger side lettering with a 3M eraser wheel. Satisfied with our progress so far, I kick back and enjoy the ambiance. But we have another storm rolling our way so I must press on. Yeah, get all the adhesive off of there. Mm -hmm. I suppose it might 
be an easier way to remove the adhesive, but I said I was going to look into it. But I thought that, yeah. This is pretty, this is pretty easy, but that, that those letters are so fat that. It's just going to take forever. Yeah, this is. Oh, man. The good news is that this is going to last forever. <laughs> yeah. That's just awesome. As you heard me explain to the Marina mom and longtime resident, the 3M eraser reel works great, especially for the smaller letters, but isn't the perfect tool for the job in its entirety as it has several limitations about it. Satisfying because it, I don't know if it's oh, because stuff is baked on or just like mm -hmm. it's like at the top or why the front of the truck, you can see it does a great job of removing the lettering on the vertical surface, but the top portion of the letters that are more exposed to the sun started melting and sticking to the hood, requiring extra removal effort. As you can see this method creates lots of dust which isn't the most ideal way to get rid of the stickers, but in our case most of it just clumped up together in the grooves of the street pavers so it made finding the dust and vacuuming the bulk of it up pretty easy. Another con to this particular wheel is that the more we use it the more rounded the edges become which began to reduce the overall contact area of the wheel surface in relation to the sticker. Overall, we felt there was a great help to remove the small lettering and its residue, but not worth the effort for the larger letters or stripes. We spent our last few days at the marina working diligently to remove the large portion of the letters and stripes. We knew we would double back on the ghost stripes left by the adhesive at a later time. Once we arrived at our temporary lodging quarters which was a vacation rental property and a nearby trailer hood. For the larger decals, we decided that with two of us, we would just use a heat gun and a scraper to peel them off, and experiment with the easiest way to remove the residue later. For starters, we used Goo Gone, because, well, we already had it. The Goo Gone requires you to spray and let it soak in briefly, and then you can remove it in layers, repeating the process until most of it was gone. Tiff had gotten into the rhythm and found it was adequate for the job. However, after buying two or three additional refills of it, we started feeling as if we weren't getting much for the money. I started using mineral spirits on the passenger side stripes while Tiff finished up the last of the Goo Gun. I felt they worked much better, but the process was a little different than the Goo Gun. The mineral spirit seemed to activate quicker than Gugan, but it also dried quicker, so you had to feel it and time it just right, but the results were amazing. I found sometimes I could remove almost all of it with a single pass of the scraper, but other times when doing larger areas, 
it will take off a layer, but still have some left after a single pass, so sometimes an occasional second or third pass may be needed. The new eraser wheel is a generic one from Amazon. It has more surface area for the decals and was a much better choice for removing the worn out seal sticker on the cab doors than any other method. But the design of it came with a tendency to grip and skip along the surface of the vehicle like a tire, so controlling this wheel took more effort than the 3M eraser wheel. I wish I recorded the first go round. Did you record the whole time? Sure did, expecting it to take 10 15 minutes like the last one. Where are we at? An hour. 58 minutes. Ridiculous. As you can probably tell from my high level of enthusiasm, that I was not expecting that to take an hour since the other side only took 10 minutes for the entire sticker. I'm not sure why it was so much longer, but it doesn't much matter because at this point I'm just ready to get back to the demolition phase after a couple weeks of removing stickers. So once again I start plucking away at the insides of our former ambulance. Sorry you guys died, so um, you couldn't see me take down the rest of it, but I'm glad you're back. Um, I pretty much took down all of the padding that was in here, so it's a lot less blue in here. I thought I was going to throw it away, but it turns out Let's give her a second. It turns out we got some, you know, nice material. I don't think it's starboard, but either way, there's some good material in there that could potentially be used in the future, so I'm going to keep it for now. We seem to hit a jackpot for medical supplies or something like that. But yeah, there's a good shot at the aftermath. This was a long couple of weeks, but finally all of the side stripes and goo was gone. The adhesive clumped together, which we stored in a big Bojangles goo collector, so that it didn't end up all over the place. Kathy, our marina mom, suggested we celebrate with some red stripe when we were done. So cheers to her for such a great suggestion, and to us for a job well done. Of course, the stripes weren't completely gone yet. The rear required some extensive removal of the lights, so we were saving that for when we get indoors and the serious work begins. We rented a house in Cape Coral that had an RV garage. We did two months and figured that should be enough to get us through the bulk of the build. While Tiff removed the rear lighting to finish up the rear stripes, I jumped back into removing the interior pieces and panels. Finally, there was nothing standing in our way of going full force with the demolition phase, except the ambo itself. And trust me when I tell you, it put up a fight and threw its share of hooks, jabs, and jumping uppercuts our way.
This was truly as humbling as it was eye-opening. And while we weren't in the mindset of slowing down, we did take some time to visit my mom who had just moved to Florida. We felt pretty bad that we weren't able to help out with her transition from Maryland, so we drove up to Siesta Key where she rented a house. And there we celebrated together and began her Florida woman initiation.